GJ trade this morning for Asia. So I went based on the four hour and the one hour long bias because I was looking for the four hour to actually fill this week over here and then followed by this previous uh, daily week high over here. So when I waited on the 30 minute, um, the better entry for me would have been when price actually broke above the one hour, one hour and 30 minute zone over here instead of me waiting for the 15 minute bodies to be clear. So this entry was actually quite late because 30 minute and one hour closes are actually more solid than 15 minute closes. So this will have given me an extra about 5 to 6 pips of uh, movement. So I once I had entered, the price actually shot up with the Japan Open and then it hit and then rejected the 135.200 level. So this was the previous one hour and four hour week high. So I knew that there will be some resistance over here. Hence, once it reached there, which was about um, 15, 16 pips, I actually moved um, and tightened my stop loss from 10 pips to 5. So, and I took off 25% at this area here because I wanted to give the trade um, some space to breathe because I know that between the Japan Open and the 4-hour close, there's actually quite a bit of um, slowing down on GJ. So that's why we can see the candles actually becoming smaller before the volume push again. So during this drawdown over here, I just held in and then watched to see if price would actually respect this minor zone that was actually set here. So when this bearish candle came down, I was waiting for a new support to be formed on the 15 minute, which it did. And then it ended up pushing higher. So I just, once it broke the one hour and four hour zone, I moved my stop loss um, up to five pips. And then once it closed uh, above here at 22 pips, I actually moved my stop loss and locked it at 10 pips. So what I could have done better was because this actually moved to about 25 pips, I could have just locked my final stop loss um, below this zone because I know that if price were to break below this, most likely um, the trend would have would highly likely change as well. So that's why this final take profit could have been 15 pips instead of 10 pips. So this was what I could have done better. The overall aim was to actually go to the previous weekly uh, daily highs, which was around here. Um, I was actually planning for the trend, the trade to actually go to 135.4. But because volume actually slowed down and then this could have been news. Uh, don't see anything but oh yeah. So there was some kind of breaking news that appeared as well. So it could explain that big drop. If not price should have continued going up since it already broke that previous one hour zone.